everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I wanted to show you a fun idea with some junk mail envelopes that you can do whether you sew or whether you don't sew. I'm going to show the no sew um, uh, prototype of this and we're going to make a no sew version but you could also sew this. Um, but this is just a very pretty little uh, junk journal envelope that is using a um, a junk mail envelope that has been uh, refurbished um, and uh, all dressed up to the nines. But I want to show you some uh, simple basic tips to make this process a lot easier for you if you are decorating some junk mail envelopes, uh, especially if you don't have a if you don't have a sewing machine. So let me grab an envelope. Okay, here we are. Here's an envelope I just got from the mail. Okay, and what I'm going to do is you can decide initially whether you want to keep the flap or not keep the flap. I think for this particular one, I'm going to not keep the, oh, I didn't even really show you that one very well, did I? Okay, so this one, I did not keep the flap. I just left it as an open pouch, okay? And I put inside, peeking through the window, a very special piece of ephemera. Um, you could also put in stationery or book pages or um, journal cards or things like that. But this particular one is, I thought this was so cool. It's from the year 1913 and it's a um, Teachers Retirement Association membership certificate. So there you go, Emma Estelle Burrington. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. And uh, uh, so I thought that would fit nicely into one of these longer envelopes. And I thought it housed a special piece of ephemera in a very nice way for the recipient to receive. But um, basically we're decorating an envelope, but there's a few things that I want to show you about how to do this to make your life a little bit easier. So hold on for some tips and tricks. Um, in this particular prototype, I used punched outs. So I had, I just punched out a bunch of pieces of paper with some punches I had. You don't necessarily need to use punches. Um, you can use scraps and torn scraps and things like that. And it will come out just as beautifully. But I wanted to show you this option because we've done a lot with uh, regular torn scraps, but I want to show you what you can do with some punches as well. Okay, here we go. All right, where is our little envelope? Here it is, here it is. Okay, so I am going to remove the flap. You can keep the flap, but I'm going to remove the flap. Um, probably better if I cut it, but I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna, there we go, that's okay. All right, we tore that off, and now we have our base peekaboo pouch. Okay, now um, I'm going to do the front first and then the back, and it's a pretty quick and easy process. I'm just gonna use some Scotch Create glue stick, and I'm on a, um, a little protective piece of paper here because there's going to be glue stick going everywhere. And I'm going to glue stick the whole front. That's why these wide ones kind of come in handy because you, you can cover a lot of area quickly. I'm not going to cover the um, where the windows are, but um, I'm going to leave that unglued. Okay. All right. So here we go. And now I'm just going to, I have this little pile of pre-punched scraps that is getting pretty full so I need to use some of these so I'm going to use some of these but you can easily use torn paper as well and just make a collage on the front. Um, I'm not going to pre-think I'm just going to do. Okay so here we go I'm just going to lay these down almost like um, tile work you know I'm going to do a little tile work on here. I'm, I'm making a roof basically laying down my tiles and uh, just covering the white in any which way, kind of layering it on. If some white still shows, that's okay. I'll cover it up with other things as I go. Okay. And things tend to move along rather quickly uh, as we do this, so it's, it's not a big deal, but I'm gonna maybe use um, some contrasting colors. Uh, I think that might be nice for the design of this. And you can tuck things underneath each other, around each other. It's all good and it's all fun. Okay, maybe we'll put the colored things on later. I've just got a bunch, here's a mason jar. Put you here. And I'm going to over, let them hang over the edge of the envelope a little bit so that uh, um, the edges are covered well. And uh, I like that feeling of the, the roughness of the paper on the edges because it, I don't know, it just gives it a kind of a cool feel. Oh, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Nothing new around here. Nope, okay. Um, so let's see what I, what I have. What I, here's a brown piece. Let's put you on there. Um, maybe we need to resize you a little bit and that's okay. That's totally okay. Okay, here we go. Resizing. Mm -hmm. Maybe resizing a little bit down here. All right. 
Okie dokie. And maybe put in some, you can tear your pieces. They don't all have to stay the same. No, you can use variety and that's all right. Maybe use one with a stripe here. Um, and if you like certain things, you can leave them there. So if I like that number there, I can leave that there. If I want to move it, I can, I can move it too. Okay. So I'm just going to, just going to put that there covering the white. Now I know the trick is I want to show you is the, um, I know that all the edges are not glued down because I'm doing an overlapping design. Therefore, I'm going to have little peely uppies here and there, right? So I want to show you an easier way to deal with those. Um, my first inclination was to deconstruct the envelope and um, just go ahead and, I'm just going to tear this one because it's going to fit better. Um, okay. See, this is not stuck down. This is not stuck down. This is not, that's not stuck down. Um, okay, we need to put a little bit more in the middle here. All right. Not covering that. Oh, this is a nice little piece here. Oh, can you go there? All right, there, that there. We need something underneath you, which I, oop, no, I used you. Where, oh, where did my paper go? I have a, like a, a ton, seven tons of paper and I can't find any paper. Does that ever happen to anybody? Or is it just me? <laughs> All right, let me see, get this. I just did some rubber stamping on some random book pages that I thought felt kind of cool. So here it is coming in handy. Right here, right here you go. Okay, there we go. So we have the base done just like that. And um, so now a couple of ways you could do this. If you deconstructed the envelope, meaning you took the envelope apart first, you removed the back from the front, then you could go into your sewing machine and just sew all this down, okay? And you could do like a zigzag, or like a, a random uh, free-floating sewing, and that would tack everything down. You could also painstakingly come along and glue all these little bits down, which will totally work, but it uses up a lot of glue. And um, it's painstakingly, you know what I mean? Okay, so <laughs> um, here's uh, another little easy option that makes it sort of fun. Actually, two easy options. Um, let me show you prototype again. Where did you go, prototype? I'm over here. Okay. My first easy option was let's use some fabric strips or some ribbon to tack down the little unruly's. Okay. So I just ran a bead of glue, put the ribbon down. Okay. So let's try that. That's, that's the easiest one. Um, okay. Here's a piece of ribbon. So I've got some unruly's here or not glueys here. So I'm just going to maybe put a piece of, um, oh, actually, let me use that other ribbon. Yeah. This crochet, I think that would look pretty on here over there very nice okay all right so we're just going to run it across where i want it to tack it down um maybe i will use the white one yeah i think i will change my mind see that's the way it goes while you're junk journaling right okay so i'll do that one there make sure it makes it to the end and then we'll trim it off here so that in essence come along with the little you know hand squasher and that tacks down all the little I'm just dropping papers left and right around here all the little unruly's at the top um, which is great um, and maybe you want to layer it up a bit maybe you want to come in with a little accent color like a little pink trim and you can do that because maybe you squirreled some away and you still have it so maybe I'm just going to put some there to give it a little more uh, bling or pizzazz or wahoo or whatever you like and I'm just going to put that right on top it's not truly for anchoring purposes at this point it's just decor and who doesn't like a little decor? So you can, uh, you can layer these up or down as much as you like. Now I could keep going as I did here. Oop, let me show you. I also put one here to anchor down the bottoms of these little flappers that were coming off. Um, not necessary though. Another alternative is to use the, uh, what I want to call the small punch or the individual punch anchoring technique. So let me show you on the back here. It might show it a little better. Um, what we did was we took we. Here's the grand we of it all. Me and myself and, me and, and Sunny. <laughs> Why did you mention my name? Yes, 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 I did. <laughs> okay. Um, this butterfly is used to tack down the three, um, I want to almost call it, what are the four states in the U.S. where they all intersect. Put one little piece on there glued and it holds down everybody. Put a heart here and it holds down here. Put a couple here and it holds down some little areas that were coming up. Put this little guy here and he holds down some guys that were coming up. And until you feel it's secure enough that it's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and 
then you can go ahead and just put extra things on here and decorate at will. Um, this one is not necessarily an anchor. It is just a um, uh, decor. I found this Tim Holtz cutout, just some, uh, this, I don't know, it's floating around in the drawer, how to use it. And um, there we go. So you're going to get that tiled look, but you, and you can use really small things too. They don't have to be big. Like, like here, I just punched out some things out of um, music paper. And uh, this is probably the trickiest part, just getting the glue on there. Um, little tricky with the glue stick on this one. You might want to put a little bit of Fabrifix down for that one because it might tear. Okay, so let's say, uh, not there, here, there, there. So now we have something that looks like that. I mean, it's very innocent and uh, unruly. It's not unruly. It's not, you know stealing anybody's thunder or anything like that. Now I could come along with a white piece here to help tuck that tuck. Uh, let me go a little closer so you can see. I feel like we're far away. Are we far away? Oh, we're not that far. Okay. Um, let's do this one. And you could even um, ink these if you want to have them pop a little bit more. I'm using um, vintage photo, I think is, you know, and honestly I'm using, I'm using my dauber that I squirted the end of my dauber to release more ink. So it's probably a combination of vintage fo photo, a uh, walnut stain and some gathered twigs, I'd imagine, is in there too. Something else, I don't know. <laughs> Just put that down, almost like a band aid. Yeah, you put it down like a band aid. Now, your band aids can sometimes be um, uh, flowers. Maybe you have a flower punch. And if your paper is sturdy enough, you can run it over the edge of your glue stick and then just tack her down. You know what I mean? Just tack her down and uh, you are rolling. Okay, so let's. Let me see, I have a little collection of pretties over here. All right, um, trying to use my pretties here. This, I, I think this is a wallpaper. Whoop, can't see. I think that's wallpaper that I punched out of. So if you have little scraps and stuff, you can punch little punches and then they're at the ready. I know, I know, here, we'll put that one there. You see that? There's the hand iron. And uh, that's what we get. We get something that just handles that little issue. And it's really handy in life to have things that handle little issue. That's kind of cute, isn't it? I made that the, a long time ago and I found it. I'm so excited. Uh, I, I think I took three punches of a flower punch like that and just rotated them and got something like that, put a little dot in the center. And then you wonder where you're going to put that guy. Now today you find the place you're going to put it. See that little peely uppy right there? You are mine. Yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, just to be clear, we do have two windows in this one and they can be used to show off your goodies inside or you could totally cover the windows. You don't have to have windows. This is not window mandatory in any way, shape or form. Um, yeah, so that is that little guy. And let's see, anybody else really causing a problem? You here maybe, huh? Okay, cool. we, can, we can work with you, that's all right. I have this really cool little heart punched out of a book page from somewhere. And uh, sometimes just little goofy things like that. They just, they just come in handy. You can just pop that little guy right down right there. And it just makes the prettiest, I don't know, uh, little layered, light, neutral collage. Uh, maybe I need a little something there. And oh, look at that. I have this little punch out that's very skinny. And if you don't have the right punch outside, you could just tear a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be a shape. All right, so let's put you down. Oh, I got goop on you. Well, we'll, we'll just have to work with that. Okie dokie. Uh, there. All right. Now I got a little ink on there. Not that that will matter because I'll probably ink this up anyway. So we won't worry about that at the moment. But if I did, if I was sweating about it, I'm like, oh my God, I got, I got an ink smudge here. See the ink smudge? Um, grab a, uh, grab something you covered up with. I mean, hey, we are crafters, right? We go forth, we craft, we cover, we carry on. That's what we do. We just put that there. There. Now we're good. Never happened. Totally planned, right? Um... Okay, so I think we have most of the peely uppies handled on this side. Now we're going to rotate this big baby and look at the back. Okay, let me get just a little small as so you can see. Okay, I'm going to focus. Okay, and uh, now let's do the same thing. We are going to take this and just glue the bejeebers. Here is the glue. Oops, hang on to it so it doesn't tear. I know we get a little reckless. There's a little abandon going on here and things happen. But if it tore, what would we do? We would repair it. Yes, we would just glue it or washi tape it or use some of these little layery things to layer over the top. Now, let's say, um, let's say, okay, well, I, I'm going to show you the where is it? I've got a bunch of scraps sitting here. Let's use some scraps this time because I know a lot of people have scraps and this nice back real estate here 
is uh, just says scrap me. Doesn't it say scrap me? Yeah, and now we can also layer on top of the scraps some pretty little punches if we happen to have those. Um, so let's just go ahead and put some of these down. This is a thicker one, so I'm gonna put it at the top here. All right, and you might need to trim or something. That's fine, we'll do that later. Don't, 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 don't worry your little head, it's okay. We're gonna carry on and uh, just decorate this pretty little, whoops, there goes something else on the floor. Sunny, don't eat that. Uh, everything around here is Sunny, don't eat that. Um, I think he thinks that's his second name. <laughs> Hi, my name is, what are you eating? <laughs> uh, he's not, he's not as uh, bad as he was when he was a puppy. He ate everything, everything went in the mouth, but now it's kind of settled down. He's a, he's a good year and a half solid. Oh, he's coming up in July. It'll be two years. Oh my God, I can't believe two years. How did that happen? What happens? Kids, they grow up so fast, don't they? They really do. All right, here we go. A little tail over here. We'll just put you here. As you can see, this, this grows relatively quickly. It's a great way to use up your scraps. This could be a removable in a junk journal. Um, you could tuck this into some Happy Mail. Wouldn't that be fun? And um, these are things that are just plain fun and dandy to make, and they're not big commitments. They're just fun, happy town. We're just goofing off, having fun, using our stuff in different ways, maybe thinking of the new uh, little concept of how we're going to glue those little flyaways, those little peely uppies down so they do not um, run away and uh, do things that they're not supposed to do. Okay. And uh, it's okay to have some peely uppedness and texture. That's all right. I mean, that's, that's actually an aesthetic. It's a look. It's a feel. It's, it's okay. Um, so don't worry too much if you get a little bit of it. Okay. So now here we have the little connection parts. Yeah, there's some natural peely uppies, right? right? And also in between the sheets, there's natural peely uppies, the, the strips of the um, scrapbook paper. But we have our old friend, uh, our old friend, we have our old uh, friend like to glue it down just to glue something on top of it to tack it down. So let's try that. I have this weird butterfly here. Let's try and use you. Okay, so this guy is a little odd. Let's, let's give him a good solid anchor. Will you go there? Sometimes it's just a matter of finding the right color and the right thing that really needs to go in that one particular spot. Or is it you? No. <laughs> now I'm getting fussy. See that? It's really not necessary. I get that. But no, we need to have contrast. Here's one. Pretty little leaf of different color. I'm going to try it on here. I'm going to move slowly with the thumb. Light pressure if, it, if you think it might tear. And then hopefully it's stuck to your finger. You can use tweezers here if need be. And you just tack it down. There we go. Um, now on the edges, you could cut these, but I'm going to tear them because I like the torn edge because I'm going to ink this all up at the end. And as you can see, my fingers are, have lots of glue on them. That means it's been a good crafting day. Are your fingers gluey? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know some folks love the glue. Some folks can't stand the glue. Uh, whatever it is, use gloves. That's fine. It's okay. It's all good. Whatever makes you happy. And let's put down some pretty, pretty. Okay. You're pretty, but let's maybe ink you up a little bit. All right, so this is going to, this little butterfly piece is gonna serve two rolls. It's going to tack some edges of the scrapbook, collage, scrap paper collage, collage down, and it's also going to, um, where's the edge? Okay, I don't wanna cover that up. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Uh, it's gonna help uh, it's dec decorate as well. So I'm just gonna put a few things on here just for fun. I like working with butterflies and leaves and a little nature kind of feel going on here. They don't all have to be inked. Some can be inked, some can be plain. That's okay. Yeah, because they, they have different purposes. Yeah. So if you happen to have some punch outs, look at them with new eyes. Consider them tape in a way. You're kind of taping things down with your, your little punch outs. Are you going to rip on me? Probably my fingers are sticky. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. And we're down. And we're down. And you can keep going and keep going. And it can be a lot of fun. Um, let's go ahead and maybe put... We could put a focal point on there. Hey, let's put a focal point on. Why not? We can. Um, okay. Uh, we have a little extra time here. So let's just play. Let's just play. I've got some birds hanging around here. Who are you? Oh, you're cute. Okay, let's, let's, let's put some contenders here. My fingers are so sticky. Okay, there's you, and I have you, and I have possibly you. Okay, I think you're already cut out, so you, you made it really easy for me to pick you. There you go. Yeah, I actually sat down and fussy cut one day. That one must, must have been quite the day I had. <laughs> 
sometimes when I'm watching videos, it's a fun time to fussy cut because then you can, uh, you can enjoy the feel of the paper while you're watching somebody else uh, make something and hearing somebody else's voice too. That's fun. I like doing that too. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, actually, I wish I would do more than that. More of that. Not more than that. More of that because uh, I really do like uh, relaxing and kicking back and just watching some videos. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Now we got a little birdie boo. Now this little area, which is the uh, blue area that's showing, you're, you could be saying to yourself, well, hey, I like that. Or, hey, that looks kind of weird to me. Maybe we should cover it. A million and one things you could do. You could come along here and just glue on the inside a piece of ribbon, which I think would look very nice. Why don't we do that? That was easy. You could also come in there and collage with some papers, some scraps. But I think I'm going to keep it simple. Simple Sally Sue today. And I'm just going to come along here and stick this in here. Now it would be better if I actually cut it to size first. No, but no, Missy, we wouldn't do that. Now that would be too easy. All right, let's just cut it to size now. Okay, a little shorter than what we need. There we go. And I hope you don't glue it all together. Okay, just get by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I, do I need a little more glue? Let me see. Get down, okay. There we go, and we have the little poucheroonie. How cute is that? Oh, we have a we have a Klingon. Look at he wanted to play. All right, and, oh you're extra too, and so are you. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I'll put a few more on. Look at look at they really want to be on there. Okay, we won't fight it. We will let them play. Okay, here I will put you there. Nice contrast. Contrast works nicely. And uh, you you want to play? Okay, you, I don't know. Maybe we should put you on the back because you're a completely different color. Because we've got some green elements back here. Okay, what's the green element? Yeah. Okay, there. The decision has been made. There we go. Now, I am going to grab my... This is how I get... Okay, I'm just spritzing this with this. This is water. Just need a little bit of fine mist just to reactivate whatever is on your... Um, dauber and believe me if you use your dauber a lot there's a lot of ink in your dauber so don't forget about that resource that you have that is um your known as your dauber <laughs> that's right okay um let's do this side so this little baby is is quite finished we'll tuck some cuties in it we'll just find something um you can stuff it full or you can uh, leave it uh, light and loosey, loosey loo too. Are you curling up? No, you're okay. You're down. All right. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, I found a few fun things that might be fun to tuck inside of here. I have, uh, I got this little fabric swatch. It came with some a wallpaper book, and I thought that would be very tactile and fun. And it, it kind of has a, um, you know, a floral nature theme in it. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm also going to include this. Uh, this is a uh, Victorian um, it was some type of advertising or something on a card or maybe a Victorian uh, trade card at some point but it's just isn't it it's just lovely isn't it okay and, and I'm a big fan of old stationery here's some vintage handmade paper stationery I'll take a sheet of that fold that up and pop that in there because I think that would be fun for somebody to find and there's really you can put anything you want in here yep um, here we go. I have a, here, oh, back you up a little bit. Boop. Here is a big piece of uh, vintage stationery, which I love. Will it fit in there? Yes, I think it will. Okay. Uh, which is nice. A lot of paper will fit inside traditional envelopes. So we are lucky in that regard. But you can always fold things. And you can stuff these to the hilt or you can, you can keep them thin and mini. Um, you can put one thing in. You can put ten things in. Totally up to you. And these will peek through. Let's see, did I glue everything together? Probably. Uh, peek through the window. Whoop, where's the, I want to put this guy on the outside. Maybe there. Because he's going to show through all pretty like. And there we go. Everybody snuggled inside. It's adjusting the picture. And we have something like that. It's very fun and very easy to pop into any junk journal. You could do some stamping on it. Maybe we need a word or something like that. Um, how about believe? Yes. Let's pop believe on there in walnut stain. I know I can't read that, but it's so well used and I know what it is. So there we go. So we'll put that. Uh, here we go. 
believe. There we are. And now we are complete. Yes. You could put something on the back too if you want. You could put another belief. All right, let's just do that. On an angle this time. Yeah. There we go. All right, so if you had fun, um, I hope you had fun. Um, I loved spending time with you. And this was just a fun, playful, look at the mess I made. Does that happen to anybody else or is that just me? Um, okay, well, I had a lot of fun making this with you guys. And if you have junk mail envelopes, you can turn them into beautiful treasures that can go into any junk journal. They can house your little goodies or you can put them in there on their own to be filled by the recipient of your junk journals or pop them into happy mail and have some fun. Um, thank you everybody for being here. For everyone who is new, um, my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have on free monthly emailed newsletter. Hey, if you haven't signed up for that, make sure you do. Why? Why? Because you get a free monthly emailed um, digi-kit digi print. It's going to uh, be one picture, but I'm going to put it in many sizes on one page. So you just print it out and you can use it at will in your artwork and have a lot of fun with that. And uh, you're also going to get a junk journal tip, a note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies, um, and also a, a quick peek at my new and up and coming digi kits that come out. And I have an Etsy shop where I do have vintage digi kits. I ha will have a, oh, oh, I would say about 140 um, uh, with the next release. And they're five pages each, all sorts of different themes, um, birds, Victorian, uh, nature, flowers, botanical, celestial, calligraphy, you name it, all sorts of fun things in there. Trees, leaves, um, postcards, recipes, library cards, and uh, you can print those out at home, uh, download them and save them. Uh, you, they're always saved for you on Etsy. You never lose them. Uh, you just have to get back into your Etsy account if you ever want to download them again and uh, download them. Uh, make sure that you only are using uh, the same email address in that for your Etsy account. Uh, it makes it easier for you to find your things. And some people by accident have a different Etsy account on their phone versus their computer. So just make sure you signed up the same way and you'll be able to find all the stuff that you found. If you have any trouble at all, please give me a whistle, um, email me or send me a message to Etsy and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, also, I sell fundals, which are the old papers. Uh, so um, like for example, in the prototype, that old piece of paper, if interesting papers, antique papers, ledgers, postcards, receipts, checks, um, hand-dyed papers, very interesting book pages, all sorts of fun things, 100 pieces in each pack that you might find fun to make a junk journal with. And I can't find my prototype right now. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, I also have an Amazon shop where you can find favorite tools and supplies. I am adding books to the Amazon shop. So uh, if you go to my Amazon shop, scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to find some books I'm adding there. I'm going to be adding a lot more over time as I um, get often asked what books I use while I'm crafting. So I'm going to uh, make note of their titles and pictures and um, authors and that so you can also find them easily. Um, I have a Facebook group. If you are um, uh, would like to do weekly and monthly challenges or you just like to show us what you're making from these videos, please feel free to come on aboard and join us and have lots of fun um, seeing what other folks are making. And uh, it's a really fun and happy place. And um, uh, you can find all my links down in my description box below. And if, uh, um, I also have a merchandise shop if you're interested in uh, uh, coffee mugs and t-shirts and sweatshirts and things like that. Um, I have a link down below as well. And remember, most of all, what, what is most of all, Sonny? I, I, yes, can I, can I please, can I please have the microphone for one second? I have a pup date. I have a very, a very interesting pup date. All right, what is it? All right, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Okay, I'm asleep. Did you, did you pass out during your own? I apparently passed out during my own pup date. Yeah, I guess it wasn't that riveting, but I just want you to know that I had a sweet pea for breakfast. Yes, I did. Well, there may have been kibble, but I get a sweet pea for breakfast every morning because mom thinks it helps me brush my teeth because I don't like to brush my teeth and I know it's important to brush my teeth. So I get carrots, I get apples, I get, what else you give me mom? I forget. Um, um, celery. Oh yeah, celery. She gives me, I, I like celery. I know it's strange, isn't it? Why would I like celery? I like celery. But anyway, I, I digress. 
See you later, better everybody, next time. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we truly appreciate your input. And um, uh, yeah, he loves a good rounding uh, of crafting as well. So <laughs> take care, everybody. I hope you had fun. Uh, we certainly have fun uh, with you guys. And um, let's keep playing with the papers. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.